Hi, this is Shayla reading the daily scripture again for my dad. This is April 28th, 2024, the heart of God for the nations, daily scripture. It starts out in Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus the Lord, thus the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay my sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, and there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, said a man, and say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you and you shall live and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. And this is the prayer. O Father God, cause these dry bones to live. Breathe your breath of life into your people. Baptize us in your spirit. Revive us. Refresh us. Renew us. Restore us. Bring us hope. Bring us joy. Bring us peace. Bring us life and that more abundantly. Cause your children to sing again. Cause your children to dance again. Cause your children to run again. Cause your children to prophesy again, to preach the good news, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ, to carry your salvation to the ends of the earth. O oh, Holy Spirit, come like a mighty rushing wind. Fill us, ignite us, excite us. Breathe your breath of life inside us. Cause these dry bones to live once again. And these are the supporting scriptures. Isaiah 57, 15. For thus says the high and lofty one that inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. John twenty nineteen through 22. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had said so, when he had so said, excuse me, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus unto them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, 2-4 
And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Hosea 6, 1 through 3. Come, let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, he, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days he will revive us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. This is Joel 2, 23-29. Be glad, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. And it, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaidens, in those days will I pour out my spirit. 2 Corinthians 13, 4 For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lives by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. 1 Corinthians 15, 45-58 And so it was... And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit, that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthly, and the second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly, and as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen.